Hello everybody and welcome back. Root Beer here looking at question at number 22 on our 2013 Pascal Math Contest. A water tower in the shape of a cylinder has a radius of 10 meters and a height of 30 meters. A spiral staircase with constant slope circles once around the outside of the tower. A vertical ladder with height 5 meters then extends to the top of the tower. So you go around this, the spiral staircase, and then you go up a ladder, and you're at the top of the tower. Which of the following is closest? We might uh, need our calculator in a moment. To the total distance along the staircase and up the ladder to the top of the tower. Okay. So how can we deal with this staircase? I find it's a good idea when doing a 3D geometry question. If you can somehow... Look at it from the side or from the top or, or do something to turn it into a two-dimensional geometry picture because we're much better at 2D geometry. Now, one thing you might think is, okay, well, if the staircase is spiraling around and then you go up, you might think, well, let's look at it from up above. And the staircase is spiraling once around. Uh, we can draw that a little bit better. And so you might think, well, the staircase then should have the, uh, the, the same length before it goes up, uh, the circumference of the circle. And this sadly isn't quite true. It's, it's good reasoning, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's an answer close to that assumption. The problem is, you yeah, you're going around, but you have to account for the fact that you're also going up, and that takes a little bit uh, more uh, sort of staircase material to actually go up as well as a little bit more effort. So while that might be good thinking, we need to do something a little bit better. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to cut the cylinder, grab a pair of sort of scissors, and cut it from the start point to the end point up above. And when we do that, we can then sort of unroll the cylinder. And this is a great way to actually make a cylinder as a nice little project. You just take a sheet of paper and roll it around, and suddenly you've got a cylinder. So if I unroll my cylinder... I can imagine the ladder at the end going up by five meters. And then my, my uh, spiral staircase is not spiraling around anymore because when we unfurl it, since it's going up with a constant slope, it's just going straight up as a nice little line. And when we do that, we still get a 2D picture, but now we get a more accurate one, and there's a nice little right angle triangle here. And now on the, along the base, we're going to have the circumference of the circle now. We know that the cylinder has a radius of 10 meters, so the top and bottom circles have a radius of 10 meters. So 2 pi r is the uh, circumference, so we'll have 20 pi meters, 2 times 10 times pi. And what about this height here? Well, it's going to be 25 because we're told in the question the cylinder has a height of 30. And we've got 5 that we go for that last little ladder. Okay, so the... Staircase is the 5 meter ladder plus this, this S for staircase. And we know by the Pythagorean theorem, S squared is equal to 25 squared. It's just Pythagorean triangles here. 25 squared plus 20 pi squared. So we need 5 plus the square root of 25 squared is 625. And then 400 is 20 squared. 400 pi squared is what we need. And we're definitely going to grab our calculator. You don't have to, but to do this by hand, you need to use 3.14 to approximate your pi. You need to be comfortable squaring that, multiplying it by 400. But the big challenge is uh, taking a square root by hand, which is not the nicest thing. Of course, you could get around that by taking all the possible answers, subtracting 5 from them, squaring them, and saying, does that look like 625 plus 400 pi squared? But it's a lot easier just to not forget your calculator. So what do we got? Uh, 625 and then 400. Fortunately, my calculator is a little pi button, but you can use 3.14 just fine. So I get uh, about 4,500 for the thing under the square root sign. Square root that, I get 67.6. We don't forget the 5 for the ladder, so 67.62, I guess. And we add that on 72.62. And so we're looking for something close to 72.6, and that's going to be answer A. And there we go, question number 22. 
a nice 3D geometry question turning into a 2D geometry question. And it was just a Pythagorean triangle there. Very nice. So I will see you in the next video for uh, question number 20.